able to run in this year by the presence of God. I want us this morning just to begin this year in, in worship, in worship, in worship of the King of Kings. The God who is in heaven, the almighty God, our maker, the God of heaven and of earth. I want us to just begin by worshiping him, bowing before his throne and giving it to him, giving to him praise. Let's like exalt Jesus, exalt God with the fruits of our lips. The Bible says that he is worthy, he is worthy, that is worthy of all the praise and the glory. Not just not just from, from us, but from every living thing. Everything that has breath it says, praise the Lord. Everything. Lord, I will praise you because your breath is within me. Far more than that, because I know you. Because I know of your awesomeness, because I know of your goodness, of your mercy, of your greatness. How great thou art. How great thou art. You are the wonder-working God. You are the protector. You are my provider. Lord, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I thank you for life. I thank you for so this new day, you have caused us to see, I thank you for this new year that you have brought us into. Oh God, do not take it for granted. Do not take it for granted. Grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful for your hand, for your mercies, for your goodness. They are new every morning. Your loving kindness is better than life. My lips will praise you. Lord, let everything that is within me praise the Lord. I come before your throne. I give to you glory and honor. Power and dominion now and forever. For you are the one who is worthy God. We bless your holy name. 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 Thank you, Father, for who you are. Thank you, Father, for who you are. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. There is no one beside you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want to read. From the book of Revelation. And I'll read, I'll read um, chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5. Um, I'm going to read from verse 3. And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep loudly. Because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look at it. One of the elders said to me, weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered. So that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. And between the throne and the four creatures, and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing as though he had been slain, with seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits God sent out into all the earth. And when, and he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each holding a half. And, gold, and, and golden bones, bowls full of incense, 
which are the prayers of the saints. They sang a new song saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you are slain, and by your blood you ransom, ransom people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Then I looked and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders and the elders, the voice of many angels numbering myriads of myriads, thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might, honor and glory and blessing. And I had every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. Today is, uh, is uh, the first day of this year, and I want us to to worship. When I was thinking of what what we pray this morning, my heart was just to worship God, to worship God, because um, in in worship, in worship is a is a place where God has created man. To be is in worship of God, in worship of his creator, to enjoy him in worship. And we see here an angel, all, sorry, in heaven, all of heaven, worshipping God and worshipping the Lamb because he is worthy. The Bible says he is worthy. He is the only one who was able to take the scroll and the seals and open it. <laughs> God, Jesus Christ, is the only one who was worthy to save you, to save me. He's the only one who was worthy to bring about all that God had planned for your life. Only Christ was worthy to fulfill the requirements. Only Christ was, ready, was worthy to be able to step into your place, into my place and pay the price. And when we see in heaven, when we see the picture of heaven, there's a great multitude of angels and of people round about the throne who are crying out with a loud voice, worshipping him. So I wanted us today, this morning, to join with the host of heaven, to join with the host of heaven in worship, complete worship just for who God is for who God is for who God is the one who brought you into 2023 the one who kept you throughout last year the one who is faithful if he has opened if he's taken the scroll and the seals and he's able to open them God is more than able to to accomplish and to fulfill in 2023 all that needs to be done. There is nothing that can stop him. There is nothing, the Bible says, God, nothing is impossible. Let us worship God. Let us worship him. Let us praise him. We're going to continue as we, as we did last night in praise and in worship of God. Praise the Lord, praise him from the heavens, praise him from the highest place, praise him from your room, praise him from your bed, praise him, praise him, praise him as all the angels do, as all the heavenly hosts do, praise him, praise him for all of creation, praises him, the moon, the storm, sun, the star, the mountains, the land, the trees, they praise him, they praise him. 
all in the deep sea, they praise him. All in the deepest oceans, they praise him. Lord, my lips praise you. I praise you, Lord. I praise you because you are God. I praise you because you are the king of all. I praise you because you alone are exalted high above the heavens. You alone reign in majesty and in splendor. I praise you, O Lord. I praise you, O Lord. Oh, my sante ke ripu suka liprodus, because you are the Lamb of God who is worthy. You are Lamb of God who is worthy. I praise you. Ke suta lima sante legere lipro suka talibre ke yete des. How majestic is your name, O oh Lord, in all the earth? How majestic is your name in all the earth? How majestic is your name in all the earth. I praise you, O Lord. I praise you, O God. Mati kali proto su kali brigades. Ye broko su katali makati prike kali brodos. Ye ke li proto su tali prakaya dama sonda li brigade. Ma sante legades. Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, God. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Thou art worthy, O Lord. In Matthew chapter 17, Jesus Christ um, was transfigured before his disciples, Peter, James, and John. And the Bible says his face shone like the sun. <laughs> his face shone like the, like the sun. The glory of God. They saw the glory of God. They saw the glory of God. They saw the glory of God. There is no, that when we see the glory, there's nothing else, just like the prophet Isaiah did in, in, in Isaiah chapter 6. When he saw the glory of God, he worshipped God. He says, my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. He worshipped God. He worshipped God. He said, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Let us worship him. Let us worship him. Let us begin this year in complete abandonment and worship of God, our King. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. I worship you. That this year, Lord, we will draw close to you in our worship. We will draw close to you in our worship. We will live a life of worship. A life of worship. Mashikate Robodos. Complete obedience. Obedience to you. Ye prokoto suta libra kadaba sotike yedis. Ma santa la parabo shikele redeburus. Ma seke libra suta telebre kayadas. Jesus' name. Um, Philippians chapter 1. Philippians chapter 1. And I'm going to read from verse 19. For I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance, as it is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be at all ashamed, but that with full courage now, as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet which will I choose? I cannot tell. I'm hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and to be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary on your account. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with you all for the progress and joy in the faith so that in me you may have ample cause to glory in Christ because of my coming to you again. I want us to pray for our year, this year as we started. 
um, to lay our last night we had our expectation list and, and goals but I want us to lay this expectation before God as as the as our as our first expectation, our first hope, is as the apostle Paul said here. But my eager expectation and hope is that Christ will be honored in my body. And Christ will be honored in my body. Christ will be honored in my body. Christ will be honored in all that I do. Let Christ be honored. Let Christ be honored in my in my work when I go to work. Let Christ be honored. Let Christ be honored. Let Christ be honored when I study my career, my 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 uh, university course, whatever it might be. Let Christ be honored by the excellence of my work. By my faithfulness and diligence, let Christ be honored. In my marriage, the way I deal with my spouse, let Christ be honored. As a father to my children, as a brother to my siblings, let Christ be honored. Let Christ be honored. Now, whatever it is, Lord Jesus, that you need to work in me to allow the honor of Christ to increase, that I decrease, Lord, this year, make that more of it, more of it. John the Baptist says, he must increase, I must decrease. He must increase, I must decrease. Lord, increase in my life in 2023. Increase in my life, increase in my life. Let Christ be honored. Let Christ be glorified. Let where what I do, let it let Christ be seen. Let Christ be seen. Make liprosuka libra de breke do do sike yedides. In Philippians chapter one, it says only in verse twenty-seven. Let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ. Let it be worthy of Christ. Let it be worthy of honoring Christ. Let the life that I live, he's not talking about grand and big things and, you know, going on the street and, and being a street pastor or knowing the little things that you do. Let it be worthy of Christ. Let Christ, if Christ as he is walking by your side every day, let him let him be be proud to say this is my disciple. Let Christ be honored. Let Christ's name be lifted high in your lifestyle, in my lifestyle this year, more than ever, more than ever, more than ever in your life that you have had and has gone before you. Let Christ be honored. Let Christ be honored. Let Christ be honored. Lord, in our lives, let Christ be honored. In Jesus' name, let Christ be honored. Let Christ be honored. Let Christ be honored. Let Christ be honored. In Lord, in Lord, in our lives, let Christ be honored. And in our lives this year, in 23, be honored more, more than we have ever done so far, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to, to pray as well. Um, yesterday we were praying about this, and I just want us to, to continue in the same thing, because... Uh, I, I think is the most important thing you can ask for this year to be led by God, to be led by God, to walk in sync with God step by step. Uh, it's my heart desire. It's my heart desire that I don't I don't waste a day. <laughs> don't waste your life. You can go accelerating all the way north, five hundred miles an hour. If you are if you're in the wrong direction, your, your your speed counts for nothing. Your your progress counts for nothing. If God is not with you, your direction, your progress, your speed, 
is 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 worse than zero. It's minus. But God is God is the one who makes all things work together for good. So He can turn everything around. But I want to be led by Him. I want to be led by Him. I want to walk step by step with Him. He shows the path of life. He says, "You you show me the path of life. You show me the path of life." Moses said in Exodus chapter thirty three. Um, in verse 12, Moses said to the Lord, See, you say to me, bring up these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet I say to you, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now, therefore, if I found favor in your sight, please show me your ways, that I may know you in order to find favor in your sight. Consider to this that this nation is your people. Um, and God says, my presence will go with you and I'll give you rest. And he said, if your presence will not go with me, do not bring us up from here. For how shall it be known that I found favor in your sight and I and your people? Is it not in your going with us? I want us to pray. We, the Bible says that we, the righteous are surrounded with favor like a shield. We are the righteousness of God because we are clothed in the righteousness that Christ purchased. The one that the Lamb of God was able to open the seal and break the line of the tribe of Judah has wrought victory and has granted us the righteousness of God. And so we are surrounded with favor as a shield. And said, what is, what is this favor? What is this favor? If I found favor, you say, what is it? Is it not that you go with us into this year? Lord, is it not that you go? Let your presence go with us. Lord, lead me by your presence. Lead me by your presence. I don't want to go a day not in the presence of the Lord this year. Kisu la prakaya de dos. Malapako seke libro dos. Ikate libro to so kaya de de. I don't want to go a day, Lord, without your presence. Lord, without your presence. Lord, without your presence. Kalama so kaya de libro dos. Let your presence go with us. Lord, I want to walk with you. Step by step. Lord, the leading of your Holy Spirit, make me make me sensitive to your Holy Spirit. Lord, make my make my ears anoint my ears. Anoint my ears to hear you more clearly. Anoint my ears to hear you more clearly. Lord, remove every noise, every noise, every noise, every background noise. Remove it from my life. Give me grace, Lord. The Bible says that Jesus said his sheep know his voice. His sheep know his voice. His sheep know his voice. Well, that voice can be drowned out by the noise that is around us in this world. And so we have to create this time, just like we are doing when we start your day with Jesus, to be still and know that he is God, to be still and hear him, to hear the good shepherd so that he can lead us by green pastures, so he can make us lie down and lead us by the still waters, so that he can direct us with his rod and his staff. Lord, lead me. Let me hear the voice of God more clearly. Let me know the word of God more clearly, more dearly. Let me love the word of God more dearly. Lord, let your word be like honey to my lips. Let the word of God be like honey to my lips. It says meditate on this word day and night. Don't let it out of your sight. Don't let it out of your sight. Have daily prompters. Have daily times of meditating on the word of God, of listening to God, listening to God. Oh, gosh, Lord, this year I don't want to just talk and talk in your presence. I want to listen. 
and I want to hear you speak to me. For I'm your son. I will say that you are those who are the sons of God, they are led by the Spirit of God. To be led by the Spirit of God this year. Ma calipro su calibre de brus. Ye calipro su tanima santa libre get it is. Lepro su carababa santa libro gurus. Ye calipro to su calababa she calid it is. In Jesus' name, I want us to pray. Um, Psalm 109 and verse 4. Psalm 109 verse 4. Psalm says, In return for my love, they accuse me, but I give myself to prayer. I give myself to prayer. I give myself to prayer. I want us to Pray for this year, that in this year, just as we are starting, just as we are starting, in the new um, international version it says, but I am a man of prayer. But actually, the, the, the original text just says, I am prayer. I am prayer. That is my life. My life is dependent on God. It's dependent on God. And I show it. Because I'm always praying, because I'm always asking him to do it, because he's more than able. Honestly, this year, Lord, as we are starting this year, in thanksgiving, worship, and in prayer to you, Lord, that we will continue, and that our prayer altars will be built this year to, Lord, oh, we will, we will learn to depend more and more on you. Ye prosuka nima sante libra kayede se kiku sura mashi libra to sikilit. In Jesus' name. I want us to just pray this morning. It's also we're starting this year with uh, uh, on a Sunday, so we will be we'll be in church. It's no better way to start a year. No better way to start the year. I want us to pray for the presence of God. I want us to pray for the presence of God. That his presence will be in our midst as he has promised us he always is. Oh, but that Lord, we will know that you are with us. We'll be completely yielded to your will. And that the power of your word, the power of your presence, Lord, will be free in our midst. Free cause for the spirit of the living God to have his way. In our life, whatever whatever needs to be done at this 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 first day of this year in anybody's life, Lord Jesus, we we ask we stand in the gap for our brethren this morning to say, have your way, have your way in the service. Let the mighty hand of God touch every life. Let the mighty hand of God touch every life at the beginning of this year. Lord, ma sekeke rupusuka tali prakadaba. That Lord, as your word comes, you will begin to speak into people's life, Lord, to set them up for this year in your presence. So set them up, Lord, for glory in this year. Lord, have your way, have your way, have your way in our midst. Have your way, Lord, in our midst. Have your way, Lord. In we give you all the praise and the glory. Thank you, Father, for bringing us into this year. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us. You are the one who keeps us. You are the one who will keep us this year. Lord, we, we return the praise and the glory to you. We give you praise for this year. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Um, today we will begin service at uh, the later time of 11.30. So if you're joining us um, on site, please, it starts at 11.30. If you're joining us online, we will stream from 11.30 a.m. this morning. Please, if you can unmute or we'll share the goodness in fellowship together. Surely, <clears throat> God's yes, goodness yes, yes. Mercy shall follow us. All the, All days, the days of our of lives, the and we shall dwell, we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord, the presence of the Lord, forever, forever and ever. ever.
and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. you. Have a wonderful day.